Hey there, welcome to my channel. This is Vanessa DuBerlay, and I am going to show you today how to organize all of that social media stuff that you have, or the photos and the clip art and all that stuff that you have in your Canva account. I know I've been hooked on Canva lately for some of my most recent videos, but there's so many amazing features in the Canva Pro account. We're going to talk about how to organize everything in there into folders, and this is one of the features that you get when you go to the Pro account. So let's go ahead and dig right in. Here I am on my home page. Just go in and click one of your designs. That's the fastest way to go in instead of sitting there and, and trying to create something new. And I'm going to go under uh, all of the images that, that have been uploaded. Those are the images that we're going to organize. I don't know about you, but I have got tons in there. Now, one of the things this has caused me to do is to go in and delete a lot of things that I don't want. Um, you can see here that I've got a little image of a puppet. I'm getting ready to create a channel. Um, for read alouds and I'm going to use I'm, I'm just kind of testing the theory that you don't have to show your face on a YouTube channel and this is going to be Nana and she's going to do all of my read alouds for me on the channel so I've been kind of working on that I don't have anything in a folder for this channel so I'll show you how I create that you're going to go over here to the left and you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and it says folders now, when you get in there, there it's going to say all your designs, likes, pur purchased, and shared with you. I don't use any of these. I create my own. So you can see below that I have lots of folders created. My son uses my account, so he's got his stuff in there. So that's actually why we started getting organized, because there was so much. Here, we're going to hit Create New, and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Nana's. read aloud channel. I'm not sharing it with anybody. And then I'm just going to create the folder. Now here it says your folder's empty. What are you going to do? I'm going to go all the way back up to my uploads. And right here where you see the three little dots, it says, what do you want to do? I want to move it to a folder. Now I'm going to move all three of them into the folder. They're in alphabetical order. And just click the folder that you want to put them in. Not as read aloud. It says move here. And then that will go right to that folder. We're going to move all three of them in just so you can see what that looks like. You can just type the N and that will bring it up as well. And we have one more. Now let's go down and see what that looks like. I want to start working with these and, and making designs, thumbnails, whatever. Um, two things will happen. One, that's the most recent folder that I've been in. So you can see here that that's at the top. Or I can go into where it says folders. And I can go down. I can actually, the easiest thing to do is just type it in at the top, do a search, and it comes up. So those are the all the images that I have in that folder. So now if I want to do create a design, it's right here ready to go. And I can move my my images over and I can work with them. And they're very easy to find. And let me just show you a couple another folder that I have. I have some clip art that I've saved in this folder here. And now I can get to it very quickly. I don't have to scroll and scroll and scroll through all that other stuff. So I hope this was helpful. Remember to create that folder, you're going to go all the way to the bottom. Now this is the pro account. Now this is the pro account. And I have a link below where you can get a 30 day free trial. I'm going to be honest with you. I put that off forever. The free account is amazing. I'm not going to discount that, but there's some little things like this that just make it easier to use the whole program and you get some extra features. And I've been going over a lot of those extra features. I'll put the playlist at the end of the video of some of the features that I've already made videos about and I'll keep making them, but there's a lot of neat stuff in there. So definitely check it out. It's free for 30 days. And if you find you're not using it, then go back to the free one. That's simple. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.